Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to show you some of the things that I made with my latest BB Craft order. This was a collaboration and I have an unboxing if you want to see. All the links will also be linked down below. But basically I got some of this trim, these beads, an embroidery floss kit, some of these dangly charms, and I wanted to show you a happy mail that I made. So I'm going to take everything out of this package, and I'm just going to go through everything that I created and how these BB Craft items came into play. So the very first thing we'll start off with is this little envelope. So I make these envelopes very simply. I have a tutorial on them as well. It just takes two 12 by 12 pieces of paper that you embellish. And then you have one, two, three, four different pockets. So the very first thing I'm gonna start off with, this is a Simple Stories Easter collection that is one of my favorites. And this is a card that I created. Now this is going to Janice. If you watched my last unboxing, she sent me a random act of kindness and I am returning the favor, so to speak, by sending her a little thank you gift in the mail. So that little card has a thank you on it. I'll start off with this. This is one of my favorite things these enamel dots that have like a faceted gemstone and they sparkle so much i really love them i wanted to share some with janice because i think she would really enjoy them for her card making as well speaking of which this is one of the cards that she made for me and you can see how she's got these pearls on there so you would use these same idea with these gemstones. When I first got these trims, I immediately thought that of all the colors, this looked like Easter. So there it is used to decorate this little embellished topper for this gift. And I will go ahead and tuck that in one of the pockets. Let's put it in there. Actually, on that side. Here is a sample of how I used the bead kit here and the gems that I have over here and all the different colors. So I use the light purple to do this little attachment on an eyelet to top off this little gift of flowers that I always find so handy. So I'm going to tuck those in, let's say, this pocket here, and then this is just going to dangle off the edge. I've got a couple little gifts in here for her that, well, I can say what they are now. One is an Easter egg brooch, and one is a bunny necklace. So those, I'm going to tuck those back into the back of the envelope and this little part can even stick over the front so that it catches in there so they stick up a little bit i did make one of my rosettes here focus on the good that i will just tuck in here this is one of my little butterfly pockets it's got a little bow on there. This little tag inside has a sparkly trim that also came from BB Craft a different time. I got vellum in my BB Craft order, a big package of it, and I used it to create this butterfly. So you can see the different layers of butterfly. I've got a paper piece, the vellum, and then over top another die of just the wings and the vellum adds a really nice soft feature to the butterfly so that it really adds an extra layer of texture and dimension 
It's all stuck on with a little clothes peg. That's good there. Let's tuck this in there. Here I have a little vellum envelope that I've decorated up with some stickers and I've put one of these really cute wax enamel seals on the back and inside there are some really cute embellishments that I really love and I think that she will enjoy as well so I'm sharing those with her. And then lastly I've made her this adorable little library pocket. I also have a tutorial on my channel of how I made this. One of the things that I've stuck inside here is a little tag that has again a bead and a charm dangling from it that just adds a nice extra touch. So this has a really iridescent vellum and a cute little tag here. I'm just gonna tuck that back in there so it just dangles off the side. That embroidery floss is something that I didn't use here specifically, but you could actually, I was thinking after the fact, use this kind of embroidery floss for this same sort of bow and accent feature. So that is what that looks like. And that can just tuck in here. And so that's the finished product and it should ship out just like a flat mail. And I thought I would share that with you now that she has received it. And you can see exactly everything that I sent out to her in a way of saying thank you for the random act of kindness. And it says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. I hope this brings her a little happiness to her day as she has brought to mine with a lovely, thoughtful and generous gift that she sent to me. And again, this is her card that she made for me. And it actually really coordinates quite well <laughs> with what I am sending off to her. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you're interested in paper crafting, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time.